had the great privilege of growing up on Baffin Island, and I have two mother tongues, if you wish, English and Inuktitut. You know, I learned them both at the same time, and the language has been a glorious thing for me. It turns out it's like a passport, and I've lived and worked you know, really around the the Inuit circumpolar world. I was born surrounded by Inuit art, and then I started being really interested in the prints. Just standing and beholding that limited edition print would tell you everything that you need to know. And I think that's a very powerful thing. It's a very, I, I witnessed that as a kid, and I still keep seeing its power. A lot of times people just look at something and they think, wow, what am I looking at? Like, it's, it moves me in some way, but what is it? There's a whole lot of mystery to this Inuit world. It's protected by, you know, by distance. It's protected by language. There's cultural barriers. You know, I, I, there are so many underrecognized people, particularly up here, again, because of this culture of not tooting your own horn. And so people think, well, if he's not tooting his own horn, he's probably not up to much. <laughs> Wrong.